from love? Would you like to know how to unlock that hidden desire inside any man's mind? My name is Amy North, and I'm going to teach you a magical set of words that I call a devotion sequence that will force a man to feel a level of desire for you beyond love. The moment you say this strange sequence of words to a man, he will feel an emotional connection to you so powerful that his heart will be bound to you and only you. And when I say beyond love, I'm talking about the type of relentless devotion that you only see in romance novels and Hollywood movies. The kind of strange obsession so intense that the thought of leaving you for another woman will be completely unimaginable to him. In fact, I want to issue you a little challenge. Watch this entire video to the very end and use my devotion sequence on any man, even the man that despises you, and watch how quickly he becomes spellbound by the very sight of you. So addicted to you that he finds himself dreaming about you all day long, and so enchanted by you that he'll sweep you off your feet and beg to be with you forever. So how do I know these words will work for you? Because I have not only taught this exact same trick to hundreds of women around the world, but also I serve as living proof. Just take a minute to listen to my short story and I promise it'll leave you speechless. I can't believe you found the man you've always wanted, my best friend Catherine said to me. We giggled and gossiped every Sunday morning over tea. I couldn't help myself but brag about how I'd found the most amazing man I had ever met the man I knew I wanted to marry and be with for the rest of my life. We met one summer at my cousin's beach party. His name was Derek, and the moment he looked at me, I felt chills travel up my spine. When he approached me, I could feel my hands quivering and my cheeks burning. And when he said hello in his low masculine voice, I felt like I was under his spell. He was tall and athletic, and those eyes, I couldn't stop staring into the depths of his perfect hazel eyes. As summer wore on, I began spending more and more time with Derek. I felt like he was the one, the man I'd been waiting for my entire life. The sex was raw, hot, and passionate, and even in my wildest dreams, I never knew that I could share such an intimate connection with another person. And I couldn't remember the last time I felt this buzz of joy and infatuation flooding through my entire body. But months wore on and something deeply disturbing began happening. The newness of our relationship started wearing off, and Derek began getting colder and more distant towards me. He started ignoring my phone calls and text messages. And during the times we were together, I felt like Derek's mind was somewhere else. It was almost like he was fantasizing about another woman when he looked at me. Now, I know infatuation doesn't last forever, but I knew this feeling all too well. I sensed Derek totally disconnecting from me, and I was terrified. I think he's just a player, said Catherine. I'd forget about him. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about the passionate connection that we shared that summer and there was no way I'd forget those alluring hazel eyes. I decided that enough was enough, and I didn't want to lose the man that had made me feel so special and alive. So one day I decided to surprise him with his favorite home-cooked meal, but little did I know that what was about to happen would change my life forever. I walked in through the front door of his house, excited to see him, but then something awfully strange happened. I heard a soft, peculiar voice coming from his bedroom. Curious? I slowly made my way upstairs and peered through the cracked bedroom door. And what I saw next made my legs buckle and my heart explode. I saw Catherine and Derek, naked, alone, and making love right before my very eyes. I pressed my fist against my lips and let out an ugly scream, and boy, did they ever hear me. I have never seen two people scramble so furiously in my entire life. I couldn't believe it. My best friend was sleeping with a man that I thought I wanted to spend my entire life with, and I was mortified. What happened next was almost a complete blur, but I remember sprinting as fast as I could out of the door and into my car, and then I yelled into my steering wheel until I lost my voice. I couldn't sleep for days, let alone eat. My horror transformed into ferocious rage, then into depression and sadness. But I wasn't going to let this happen to me. No, I was sick and tired of being treated poorly by men. I was tired of getting my heart broken, and I was 100% finished with dating guys that were complete losers. So I began reading every single dating guide on the internet. I read, learned, and applied the most psychologically advanced attraction techniques from the most brilliant Harvard professors. Techniques that could force any man to experience a cocktail of intense and addictive love, no matter the situation. And what I learned over the course of a few short years will make your jaw drop. I learned exactly how to reel any man into my life, to make him beg to be with me and commit to me for as long as I had a beating heart. The secret method is so powerful and persuasive that I even use it on my crush, Charlie, a guy who would sleep with new beautiful women almost every night. Once I used my devotion sequence on him, I made him so committed to me that we dated exclusively for a year until I broke up with him. I also used it on my current boyfriend, Nathan, 
a handsome and successful lawyer that all my friends had a crush on. I used my devotion sequence on him, and as soon as those words reached his ear, I watched as his face light up with excitement and adoration. He hasn't been able to leave my side ever since. And what I'm about to say will make your eyes widen with utter joy. Because I even used this technique on Derek, a year after he cheated on me, and I watched him fall to his very knees as he begged me for a second chance. But ladies, let's be honest, Derek is history in my books. For years I've taught this exact same technique to hundreds of average looking women all around the world, and they've been able to use my approach to experience results that will leave you in absolute shock. So what am I doing that other women aren't? What am I doing that makes me so irresistible to even the coldest and commitment phobic men? And how can you do the exact same for the man of your dreams? Here's the answer that most men don't want you to know. To make a man obsessively devoted to you and only you, you need to follow just three simple steps. It doesn't matter if you don't look like a pencil thin supermodel, if you don't have a face like Marilyn Monroe, or if you don't think you're naturally charming. These steps will work rapidly and successfully for any woman. So, what are these three steps? Well, step one is to forget everything you think you know about men. The sad truth is that most women haven't the faintest idea how the male brain actually works. Not many people know this, but there is an area of the brain called the limbic system. It's a sort of an emotional processing center, and it's much larger in the female brain than in a man's. That's why we're more in touch with our emotions. Guys, on the other hand, have a difficult time processing and understanding their feelings. So, in order to stimulate the emotional center of a man's brain and make him feel a deep desire for you, you need to communicate with him in a way that he'll actually understand. Step two is where you'll learn how to make a man know you don't need him, tipping the balance of power in your favor. During this stage, you'll use subtle tactics to make any man go crazy from the very thought of you. All of a sudden, he'll be the one worrying about whether you're into him and he'll fight like a pit bull just to keep you by his side, which sets the stage perfectly for the final, most important phase, which is, of course, step three. This is where you'll learn how to plant a seed of devotion deep within his mind to force him to feel a frenzy of positive emotions whenever he's around you. And to do this, you need to use the devotion sequence I told you about at the beginning of the video. These are simple but extremely powerful words that will emotionally condition a man to feel an attraction for you in a way that no other woman can. By the time you finish step three, don't be shocked if the man you've been dreaming about comes knocking at your door and sweeps you off your feet. You'll be shocked by how quickly he becomes drawn to you and how eager he'll be to bend over backwards just to put a smile on your face. Once you master these simple techniques, he'll be following you around like a lost puppy dog, ready to drop down on one knee and devote himself to you forever. Now, I know you're probably thinking, this sounds super amazing, Amy, but how do I get started? How do I make a man fall in love with me and want to be with me forever? 